black jerseys were all that stood between Australia and a record equaling 16th consecutive test match victory. Very few people gave a New Zealand side missing some big names much chance at Allianz Stadium, but as usual they were up for the challenge. It was then a matter of backing up that bravado. And this is Bromwich over the line. Does he get the ball down? I think he's going to point to the spot. Shane Hayne has awarded a try. It was the first try the Kangaroos had conceded in over six and a half hours of football, and it triggered the expected response. Gets it away, Bird. Bird is over to score. And they opened up very simply. The Aussies all-star backline then clicked into gear. First and with it. Now it's gone to Brett Morris for the corner. Brett Morris goes in for try number 18 at test level. Way too easy. Just when it looked like the world champions were ready to seize control of this contest, New Zealand put them on notice that this wasn't going to be a runaway. Here's a chance for Proctor. Got it to Harris and Harris is in. The man who made way for Sonny Bill Williams at last year's World Cup had the satisfaction of snaring a crucial four-pointer following approval from upstairs. And his fellow forwards were just as willing with the pill. Logan Mowat's gone for the centre. He's gone for the jugular. And little Sam Mower has put it down under the crossbar. The steamroller from the Sydney Roosters had given his nation a shock half-time lead of 18-12. The big question was whether they could retain it in the face of a certain Australian backlash. Trump goes on, Schlater, he provides a long, long pass for Brett, and Brett Morris goes in to score his second try of the night. The Green and Golds had upped the intensity after the break, leaving New Zealand to hang on for dear life. They were able to keep Greg Inglis at bay once, but not on his next side of the stripe. Thurston Schlater, here's Greg Inglis again. Greg Inglis getting 23rd test try. It was now Australia that enjoyed a converted try cushion, but it wasn't one they were comfortable sitting on. And Josh Morris in for Cooper Front, and the Australian number seven goes over. The Kangaroos may have cast the Kiwis aside with ease in the World Cup decider, but not this time around, earning a 30-18 victory that allows them to retain the Bill Kelly Memorial Trophy. David Rollins, NRL.com.